The north and northeastern region of Kenya has been historically underserved and is now facing major development challenges. North and northeastern Kenya is one of the most marginalized parts of Kenya and uh, the human development indicators are the lowest. The biggest challenge is access to the essential services remains low. Power, power, power is the biggest challenge we are facing here. When issues like deliveries are conducted, you cannot conduct a delivery in a dark room where there is no power. We have machines here with us that were donated, incubators for the newborns, but we lack power to use the machines. In the north and northeastern region, only 34% of women give birth with the help of a skilled health worker, compared to 76% of women in other counties. 34% of people have access to improved sanitation, compared to a national average of 59%. And female literacy in the north and northeast is at 40%, which is less than half of the national rate. In addition, the road networks throughout the region are very poor. We have a lot of problems when we are traveling to this road. The journey takes a long time. It is tiresome. You know, sometimes the vehicles, they get broke. Sometimes you see when the vehicle is moving, the tires will bust. Sometimes mothers who are pregnant, they miscarriage. And really we have suffered. As uh, the community of uh, Northeastern, we have suffered. When you look at Northeastern, the main uh, development challenge is really the lack of infrastructure, uh, be it road, be it water, be it energy. And this is also the place where you have the highest poverty level. So that calls for us to, to maybe intervene more than we have done in the past. The World Bank is already investing close to 1.4 billion US dollars in the north and northeastern counties of Kenya and is now launching the North and Northeastern Development Initiative, also known as NEDI. The initiative will cover 10 counties from Lamu to Turkana and will consist of six new backbone projects with a portfolio of over 1 billion US dollars. I believe this project has the potential to have a significant impact on the communities in Nedi, but also on the Kenyan economy at large. Let's take the energy project, for example. This project is bringing mini-grid solutions to schools and hospitals in the Nedi area. 121 such facilities will benefit and have access to electricity. The project is focusing on solar solutions to households. 250,000 households will benefit and have access to electricity. The water project is bringing sanitation to communities and allowing them to have better access to water supply in the long term. And the road project. This project has the potential to really transform the region. It will not only reduce the travel time, but it will also make it easier for communities to have access to jobs, to markets and health services. In addition to transport, water and energy, the NEDI initiative also comprises a climate-smart agriculture project that will increase agricultural productivity and build resilience to climate change risks, as well as a project that will support communities and expand economic opportunities in refugee hosting areas. The sixth project will expand the existing National Safety Net program to reach 50,000 new households in the region. Uh, the sky is the limit with respect to how much that uh, benefit that is going to overall accrue to uh, our country, Kenya, from this project, and most particularly the northern frontier counties that have suffered extensive marginalization over the years. The expectations are high, the excitement is very high, and uh, there has never been any better time, you know, in terms of willing World Bank, willing national government, willing county government, and the stakeholders all participating at these levels as it is. I see the Northern, Northeastern Development Initiative as a boost. Um, it, it is not solving all the issues in, in that region. They need way more. But it's the beginning of, of a process that I think will be a long-term process. And we hope that, as we see already, many other donors will join 
and and you know when we come back in a few years we'll have a different north and northeastern kenya <laughs>